and this is Business with Dave. In this video, I'll be telling you 12 must-have things to make your market store stand out from the rest of the crowd and some of the things that you can improve for your store in order to obviously appeal to as many people as possible and that they'll be drawn towards you as a business and a store with your beautiful smile. So yeah, let's jump straight into this video. So firstly is to proudly display your products or whatever street food you have and to just make sure you display it in the most easiest location that people can see from a mile away. Showcasing your work, showcasing what you make, people can see off the back of just turning their head for two seconds to see what you're selling that they would know what you're selling. If it becomes quite confusing, they don't know what it is, they're less likely to approach you so make sure it's nicely laid out make sure your products are all out there and that people know what it is. Second point is to elevate your products. So this is where you have like crates, boxes, or maybe like an old suitcase to best display your products in a way that will hopefully draw people in. But having it at sort of eye level as well, that's also a massive plus because not a lot of people will see from down at the bottom level. So if you can elevate it higher, then anything that will look on par, people will at least see and that it will at least be attracting and drawing people towards your store. So stuff like watches or bracelets like that, yes you can just spread around the table but if you can elevate it up, if there's something that you can put and people can see, if you have stuff, t-shirts hanging around or like food displays right in front of where you're making it and customers can see and next to the menu, then all of it is conveniently located. People can see what it is see what you're selling from like a split second and hopefully that will draw people in. So the third point is clear prices, clear products and any offers that you're having on offer for customers to hopefully grab and buy more from you. Hopefully everything is nicely displayed, maybe there's like a chalkboard menu with all your pricing and what the product is all about or what's it made out of and all the special organic stuff or stuff that you don't often find elsewhere that makes your product special. What is your USB compared to everyone else's different products? Hopefully that's all displayed. Hopefully your prices are really attractive as well so it's not too high that it scares people off. But it's not too low that the perceived quality is kind of low. If it's between medium to high then at least you have the sort of standard and quality that is on the above high quality par which is always really good in that sense because there will always be so many competitors out there that will be selling on the lower end or on the higher end and obviously the medium end is always going to be really competitive but if you can make that your own, make it really competitive and have that advantage and strength towards getting customers to come to you instead of someone else then that will obviously draw more customers to your store so do consider that. A lot of people I see nowadays just have a set price for a set thing and maybe have various different products which is completely fine but if you could offer like 10% off or at least two for five pounds instead of three pounds three pounds and just saving a pound customers are more likely to hopefully get the bulk buy particularly if they have if they're walking around the market with two three people one could have one one could have one one could have and they could have a saving if you want to just make sure you focus on volume sales then obviously have an attractive offer but if you're okay with just selling what you want with the set price then obviously that's okay too because you don't need to make more than you should in order to sell at a lower price or discount it so do consider that, receive qualities and stuff like that. So next is to have a range of different products, have different products that people can compare with and compare to have different flavors, have different sizes, have different variations, have different types of bread, different bakery goods, sweet goods, different savory stuff like that. The more stuff you have there, the more attractive your store will look overall because it's more fuller instead of selling one or two things. You're selling more variety of different things. People could ask for different sizes or different variations and different flavors that hopefully you could offer to people and hopefully you don't offer other people don't offer the same thing so it makes your business unique in that sense but a fuller store will always look more attractive than a lesser store so do consider that 
the more stuff you have out there, the more likely people will buy bulk as, as well, particularly if you have different offers as well that we spoke about earlier. So do consider packing your store with different items that people is attracted to and that they're willing to buy more of, and hopefully they will in that sense. So the next point is to set yourself a theme and have everything set out the way you want it. The color schemes, how you want your store to look, how you want the store to feel, how you want the customers to hopefully approach your store and hopefully be able to be greeted with a smile, which is super important, a happy customer service and being able to answer questions and stuff like that. So important to enhance your customer service side as well as your product side of the business. And a lot of people don't focus on customer service because they think they don't really care about too much of it as long as they can sell their product. But for me personally, the product is just as important as the customer service. So it's a bit like 50-50 if you want to put it in that way. And I do encourage you to look in that sense because if your product is really good but you offer really poor service, they might come back to buy once or twice. But if you can offer a really good service and a really great product, then they will remember you, they will tell their friends and family about you, and they're more likely to become repeat customers for you and your business in the long term. So do consider everything that you're setting up in terms of theme-wise and quality-wise and how you want to be perceived because ultimately that's how people will see your store and you want it to be in a good light and good impression. So. The sixth point is to try maybe use technology to elevate your products in order to engage with the customers. Maybe there's something, a video that you need to show to customers in order to demonstrate your point. Maybe it's a demonstration of a service that you offer. But there's so many different things that if you tap into technology and tap into the world of the internet and stuff like that, you could hopefully enhance your market store to the next level. So do consider maybe having an iPad there, demonstrating what your product is all about or what your food is all about and stuff like that where maybe it's not advanced yet in terms of technology for helping market stores but obviously there will be so do consider different technologies in that sense so if you can factor in that and have card payments as well as cash payments then at least you won't lose any customers and that hopefully yes you won't lose any customers so it means that you won't be losing any sales as well the next point is to have your store nice and neat and tidy and again make sure everything is nicely presented because no one likes a messy store. It becomes very complicated. It becomes, it ultimately deters people away from approaching your store if it doesn't look like it's nicely neated, presented, well thought out. If it's all just thrown together into a slop and thinking that it will sell. Don't. Don't do that, please don't do that because no one's going to approach your store, no one's going to buy from you if it looks like a mess. So do make sure it's well presented, it's eye catching, Your, you yourself is like well presented and you're not a mess as well and everything is everywhere because honestly you want it to be nice, simple and clear, have the simple message of what you're selling and hopefully people will buy into it but if it becomes messy, it becomes a bit too complicated and yeah, people will be hesitant to come shop at you. So have information or have leaflets to give out or have it on your store. Any potential information that will hopefully enhance your business, give customers information, maybe educate them about you and your product will always be a massive plus. You don't necessarily have to give it out to people because obviously people will just take it and maybe read a couple seconds and chuck it away. But if you have it on the table, if you have all the necessary information around your stores that is nicely labeled and people can take stuff away, then obviously that'll be a massive plus because if they get to know you, your business, your origins, your ingredients and stuff like that, then hopefully they can tell their friends and family about you and that word of mouth will spread. Free word of mouth is so important. It's literally, you don't need to spend any money on it because people are telling their friends and family about you and it's as simple as that. That's the easiest form of marketing and the best form of marketing I've been using for so many years. Literally, I've not had to spend any money on marketing because people willingly tell their friends and family about whatever I do and that's what you want to try and aim for your business as well. Do you offer good quality service and good quality products and people will talk. Next is to give out freebies or samples 
if possible, if there's something that you can give for free and hopefully encourage people to maybe come back or if they try it and hopefully they like it and they walk around the store and they come back to you, then try and do that because not a lot of people will be as forthcoming or want to give away in hoping that people will come by and if they don't buy then obviously, oh, I'm all upset. But if you could give a little, give a little and hopefully people will see and appreciate the effort then maybe if they don't buy from you from one day then maybe they'll come back another week or another month and they'll remember you and they'll come by from you because obviously your product is good and you're willing to give it out for free and hopefully give people an ability to try before they buy. So do factor in the stuff. It works very well when you're selling food because you're literally giving a sample away and people just grab and go and hopefully they'll come back and remember you and just remember the flavors, the textures and the taste. But obviously if it's a product, it could be something small or even if it's someone buys something and then you give like a free taster or a sample of something else, then hopefully that gives them an extra incentive to be like, oh wow, that's money's well spent and hopefully if I like it, then I'll tell my friend and my friend and my family and stuff like that. So do consider offering freebies and samples out there because honestly, if you get as many people to try what you make and what you do, then that's ultimately going to spread. So do consider that because if people don't try your products, they're less likely to buy it. So do give it out there as, as much as you can. But obviously, you don't have to if you can't really afford to. But do understand that more people will buy from you if they give it a try, even if it's like a little bit. So my last point is applying your warmth and your customer service into everything that you're doing because literally you're drawing people in and hopefully it will draw more people in as well. So if you're talking to your customer and you're engaging, you're demonstrating and you're showing everybody what you are all about, what you're trying to sell, hopefully with your smile, your customer service, that will draw other people in and hopefully if that draws a crowd, that will even draw an even bigger crowd to your store. And that's that's the thing, it's super infectious and literally contagious because people like to see what other people are intrigued. So if you can draw a crowd, then that, that's more likely to draw a bigger crowd to your store. So your customer service and your quality of your product will be the thing that will be standing out from the crowd. So if you could translate that, utilize that to your advantage, grab people's attention, then you'll be able to get those sales and hopefully those repeat businesses as well. Offering a good service, a great product, and just just an overall happy, fun environment and the outlook into your store will be the thing that will make your store stand out from everyone else. Because if it looks like everyone else is a bit like tired and worn out and you're super excited and you're pumped for your day and you're pumped to showcase your products, then people are going to be drawn to that and you know you'll be drawn to that. You're more likely to buy from happy people and you're, and if someone can put a smile on your face, that's always a, a massive plus. So do consider all of these factors because they will be so important in order to stand out from everyone else. Thanks for this video guys. Hopefully you found this video useful and that you can take some of these tips and must have things and apply it to your existing market store or street food business or if you're considering starting your own business do factor in some of these stuff and you'll be already onto a winner because ultimately a lot of people don't learn about this stuff unless they eventually do it or if they research it but if you're watching this video then you're already putting yourself in the right path because you're listening from the all my advice and hopefully experiences as well and hopefully you could apply it because ultimately i'm here to help you hopefully put more knowledge into your heads and experiences and hopefully my wise words will encourage you to actively pursue your passion and careers and stuff like that. So do consider all everything I've spoken in this video because it will help you in the long term, guaranteed. So thanks for watching this video guys, hopefully you liked this video and consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, do DM me on my Instagram or put it in the comments below. I will answer those as soon as I can and hopefully the best I can. I've been Business With Dave. Oh, also I release a video every Wednesday at 12pm so do not miss those releases. I do create a habit of 
releasing a video every single week so do catch that and hopefully it could help you along the way so yeah i'm invisible dave i'll see you in the next video take care